Here at United Flight Systems, we schedule all of our flight lessons and airplane rentals with an online web portal called Flight Schedule Pro. There's also an app available for smartphones and tablets, but for now, this is just a quick tutorial on how to get started and book your first flight lesson through the website. Start by logging on to the United Flight Systems homepage, unitedflight.com. At the bottom left-hand corner of the page, look for Schedule with us and click Login. You'll be redirected to Flight Schedule Pro. If it's your first time, you'll need to create an account, but I've already got an account and my login is saved, so today we'll just be using mine as an example. Once you're in, you're on the home page. This is a quick overview of your account. You'll see your profile and your account balance. So if you've got any money on your account with United Flight Systems, this is where you can see that balance. And just to the right, you'll see your upcoming reservations. Now, I've got my private pilot certificate already, and I'm currently working on my instrument rating. So I've got a mixture of rental flights and IFR flight lessons booked. Here is an overview of all my upcoming reservations. I can run my mouse over the top of each reservation without clicking, and it will show me some more details. Moving to the left-hand side of the page, you can see the different tabs. As I mentioned, we're on the home page. The My Training tab allows you to keep up with your progress towards your next certificate or rating. Every student will have a syllabus to follow for training. Whether you're working on your private pilot certificate, instrument or commercial, or you're getting a flight review or an aircraft checkout with us, you're gonna see the course laid out in this section. You can check your progress and see what you'll be working on in your upcoming lessons. But if you're brand new to flying, you don't need to worry about any of that yet. We're just gonna book a flight lesson today. What we want is the schedule tab, the next one down. So let's click that. And here we are directed to today's schedule. It was a rainy day today, so there's not much flying going on. That's why the schedule looks pretty empty. The two most common ways to view the schedule are day vertical and day horizontal. They both serve pretty much the same function. It's just up to you which one you like better. I prefer day horizontal, so we're gonna use that today. Now let's jump ahead a couple weeks and find a day with lots of availability. Here we go, this one looks good. Oh, and I also built a filter that shows my favorite aircraft and instructors, but again, that's a more advanced function you don't have to worry about right now. Let me clear that out so we have all the airplanes and all the instructors shown here. On the left, you'll see all the aircraft available to choose from. In bold is the airplane's tail number, and just to the right is the aircraft type. Below the aircraft are all the instructors along with their qualifications. So if you're taking an instrument rating lesson, for example, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're booking a CF double I. But if you're a brand new private pilot student, don't worry about that, you can book any instructor. And at the top, of course, are the times, laid out horizontally in this view. So I checked my personal calendar for this day, and I know I'm available for a lesson at noon. It looks like my favorite airplane, November 494 Julia Bravo, is available. Great. Now I can slide down to the instructors, and it looks like Landon, Dawn, and Michael are available for a few hours at noon as well. You really don't want to book a flight lesson for less than two hours. You won't get much done. So all we have to do to actually book the flight lesson is roll back up to our airplane here, November 494 Julia Bravo, and click in the blank space right around noon. It will bring up the window to help us make a new reservation. Since it is a flight lesson, I wanna make sure that the activity type at the top is set to dual instruction, which it is. We'll set the desired beginning and end time of our lesson, and I'll leave the training dropdown blank for now. We don't need to fill that in, especially for new students. Our instructor can take care of that. The aircraft is set to November 494 Juliet Bravo, and I'll just need to pick my instructor. I'll select Michael and click continue. It'll ask me to verify everything. That is me, that's my instructor, and that's the correct date and time for my lesson. So let's click book it. Now we can see for the aircraft and the instructor, I see my name in green, meaning I have reserved a flight lesson for that time. If I was booking a rental without an instructor, it would just be blue. Oh, I just realized I have an appointment and I need to delete my reservation. No problem. Just click the reservation in the schedule view and you can see I can either edit or delete it. If I choose delete, it is going to ask me for a reason. We'll say I have a scheduling conflict and just like that, it's deleted. Then sliding back to the left, the remaining two tabs will take you through all the instructors and the aircraft here at United Flight Systems. Pretty self-explanatory. You can learn more about all our great instructors and airplanes by just playing around in these two tabs. But again, most of your time is gonna be spent right back here in the schedule tab. And there you go, now you know how to book your first flight lesson. Thank you for watching and fly safe.